Colling McPherson was liming with some friends outside of his D Field Sophia Greater Georgetown house when a lone gunman approached and shot him at around 2140 hours on Thursday. The dead man's daughter, 24 year old Malika McPherson, told the newsroom that she still does not believe her father is gone. After he was shot the first time, the father of four managed to run inside his house and started shouting, close the door. His 18-year-old son, his 13-year-old daughter, his nephew and two other teenagers were home at the time of the shooting. They all ran and hid when the gunman entered the house. And he come inside now, they see he come inside, they bring him inside, and they said he go, the person was shooting, turn back, come back, and he house walk through the back door. And come and finish it off right there. If you three more boys, like I say, four again. One between the grind on his shoulder, and the hand, and the foot. According to an eyewitness, the gunman was dressed in a blue shirt and a dark colored pants. He was slim and fair in complexion and was wearing a blue face mask. Malika said no one recognized the suspect, and the family is now baffled about who wanted to hurt McPherson. She said her father was a good man, and if he ever was in trouble, she was the person he would confide in. Me father don't trouble nobody. He and nobody don't get no problem to what I know. Yeah, son, because if ain't anything with you and anybody, you would tell me. Cause I sit almost, I still upon me father mostly. Yeah, son. And all I just want is justice in me father. Malika said her father helped many youths in the area to get jobs and live better lives. My father was a, a very loving person, a caring person. He would help anybody out. Anybody who come with TVT problem, he would find jobs for them young youths. Make sure them get jobs. This is the type of person my father is. Anybody who know my father could say he's a very nice person. He don't get problem with nobody. McPherson was employed with the Ministry of Health as a driver for the past two years. An emergency medical technician pronounced him dead at the scene on Thursday night. Police said two 9mm spent shells were recovered while CCTV footage from the area will be reviewed. Police said several persons were also questioned in the area. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.